Hey guys, if you have been working with square roots and squaring things, you've probably been told when you square something with a square root, those cancel and you are just left with whatever number is underneath. So in this case, 25. In this video, we're going to show you why that is the case. All right. I'm going to show you two different reasons why or two different ways you can look at it. So first of all, we know when we square things that we are doing that number or that square root multiplied by itself, right? So this would be the square root of 25 times the square root of 25. Now, if I wanted to simplify these, I know the square root of 25 is five and the square root of 25 is five. And guess what? Five times five is 25. Look at that. Oh my gosh, see how those just cancel each other out? <laughs> okay, let's look at another way we could explain this. So again, the square root of 10 squared is going to be the square root of 10 times the square root of 10. Now, when we multiply square roots, you go ahead and multiply those numbers together and keep them under the radical. If you want to see some more examples of this, I'll link a video for in the corner. But so I do 10 times 10. They're both under the radical, so I can write it as 10 times 10 under there, which would end up being 100, correct? And then what's the square root of 100? It is 10. So that would be just like if we had been up here and said that the square root and the squared cancel, and we were left with 10. Okay, all right, I hope this made sense, thanks.